All right, let's go ahead and get into some mess. Kanye. Kanye, 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 and Kim. Kanye back at it, baby. Kanye is back at it. So I'm just going to read some of these uh, posts, not in necessarily in a particular order. Um, <laughs> this is what he put. <laughs> Can I, I'm going to start off by saying this. I don't care what anybody says. We all know that once you mention the Kardashians, folks' heads start to spin. And because Kanye is a black man, he can use him being a black man to gain sympathy from a lot of people because he knows that a lot of people don't like the Kardashians, even though he was the one who wanted to be a part of this family so bad. See, a lot of y'all ain't been keeping up with the mess. Y'all just started keeping up with this mess. Girl, I, girl, I'm not new to this. I'm true to this, girl. I remember when Kim had, I mean, I remember when Chris had her little TV show. It didn't last. It was only like a, girl, it didn't last. I remember Kanye getting his black ass on that lady's TV show and was saying how he used to cut his face out and like post it on like the Kardashians, like Christmas cards. That's how bad he wanted to be a part of that family. Yes, he said that. Kanye West said that he used to cut his face out and glue it on like their post, their Christmas cards, or basically he would make sure his face was added to their family photos. <laughs> this is one of the, the, the posts that he sent out. Here's the, th here's the through line. Gap having meetings about me, without me. Adidas releasing old shoes and coloring my shoes like I'm dead. Me not having a me not having a say on where my children go to school. Call me whatever names you want. If you don't understand why I will not back down on my businesses, my brands, and my children, then you're the ones who are crazy. You know what? Maybe you should have raised your contract because ain't that what y'all told Khalees? Y'all told Khalees, y'all was all on Khalees' ass just the other day telling Khalees that when she was a child, a teenager, that she should have wrote, she should have read what she wrote. I mean, when she should have read what she signed. Remember y'all was telling that to Khalees? I need y'all to have that same energy for this grown ass man who was well into his 40s, who signed a deal with Adidas, who signed a deal with Gap, but now, girl. <laughs> They handed his ass to him. Remember y'all told Khalees that the other day? Y'all don't remember that? Y'all don't remember telling Khalees, well, girl, how you gonna be mad at Beyonce? Girl, you don't want who signed, you don't want who signed the deal when Khalees was a teenager and was taken advantage of by a predator? <laughs> y'all don't remember that? Y'all, y'all don't? Okay. Um, I think Kanye West is full of shit. And I don't think that Kanye West is looking out for his kids. If anything, he's putting his kids in harm's way. The simple fact that he says, my kid's going to Donda. I guess that's a school that he's created. They're not going to, and they erase out the school's name. Charlemagne the, God, Charlemagne the God and Chris, get your MF popcorn. How can you be looking out for your kids and then knowing that you are in the position that, you in, that you're in, Put their the put the name of their school, so now people know where your kids go to school at. Do y'all know where Blue Ivy go to school at? You probably don't. You can probably find out, but I think it's a reason why. You know, yes, some of these celebrity kids probably go to the same school. But you never hear people talking about the schools that they go to. <laughs> and I think that is a reason why, because it's for their protection. So, Kanye, if you really gave a damn about your kids, why would you put out the name of the school that your kids go to? This is what it comes down to. The kids going to be able to go to one school and one school only. 
Should you have a say in where the kids go to school at? Yeah, you should have a say where the kids go to school at. But girl, you want them to go be a part of some cult? I saw that picture you posted with all them kids in a classroom dressed in Yeezys and, and, and Gap. And girl, like, I'm sorry, it looks psycho. It looks psycho, it looks psycho to look at some kids, girl, because you want to fulfill whatever, girl, narcissist dream that you have where the girls, where the kids are dressed in Yeezy from head to toe. The truth of the matter is those kids are not take, being taken taken out of wherever they go to school at to go to some school that you done made up. They're just not. Um, I guess Kim must have sent this to Kanye. From my mom, please. Tell him to stop mentioning my name. I'm almost 67 years old and I don't always feel great and this stresses me to no end. And then Kanye responded and said, y'all don't have so over my black children where they go to school. They will not do Playboy and mixtapes. Tell your Clinton friends to come get me. I'm here. I'm sorry. I, I, I hate to be the one to say this, but Kanye, I'm not buying nothing you're trying to sell. You don't you 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 using these kids to be hell on wheels and to harass Kim Kardashian. Sorry. If you gave a damn about your kids, you wouldn't be posting where they go to school at. If you gave a damn about your kids, you wouldn't have had Northwest on the cover of a magazine with a crop top on and makeup. Yeah, Kanye, you did that. You did that. Your daughter was on the front of a magazine with a crop top on and made an eyeshadow. You proposed to Kim. Y'all remember? You the one. You're the one who wanted to be a part of that family so 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 bad. You don't remember? Do I think that Chris is low key getting some shit handed to her? Yeah, Chris. I I feel like the Kardashians they move dirty. They do. Now, Chris, girl, you want somebody to leave you alone. I probably, I, girl, out of all the chaos and confusion, your ass and calls behind the scenes, now you want to be left alone because you're 67. <laughs> mm. Ray J steps into the shade room with a message for Chris Jenner. What about my mom, Chris? You telling people false stories about me? Making the black man look horrible. Girl, they, I, I'm about to say, I'm going to really say something that's about to shake the table. Let me finish this. Making the black man look horrible for your gain. You introduced me to Steve Hurst. You masterminded everything for your family and tried to ruin mine at the same time. You don't think all mothers get stressed. Are you special? Huh? I'm sure I know princes get stressed. I know it's old and I don't care. This makes me sick, but God had my back and still does. Ain't shit niggas know what to say in order to get y'all riled up. All they have to do is say, making the black man look horrible. Let me say something. And this is coming from a black man. I know some of y'all think I'm a black woman. I'm not. I'm a black man. Some of y'all don't even see that I'm black. Y'all just see I'm a punk. But that's a conversation for another day. I understand how they try to make us look. I understand how they try to portray us in the media. But I also understand at some point we have to try and change that narrative of how we're perceived and how people look at us. And for example, Ray J, when I look at how you present yourself to the world, you come across as a fuck nigga. It has nothing to do with Chris and how Chris makes a black man look horrible. Some of you don't even need any assistance. You do well on your own. Ray J, you pushed your girlfriend, now wife, into a swimming pool on national TV, on cable television, and walked off. Had that lady stressed out while she was pregnant with your first child. Just the other day, we see on TV, you gaslighting the hell out of her, basically telling her just because you cheated with somebody, 
and got your dick sucked, girl, it don't matter because she was a hoe and you didn't know her name. But then, and then you have the people like T.I. We're going to get into T.I. in a little bit. You have the man like Bootsy. You have the man like Kevin Hart who can't keep his dick in his pants. You have um, the man like Nick Cannon who create fatherless homes and futures. Like the list goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And then you have men who try to be decent, okay? Like myself, I'm tooting my own horn. Not try, just are decent people. Nice, kind, can be an asshole, can be messy sometimes, right? <laughs> Girl, if you lined us all up, they wouldn't know, they wouldn't know the difference. Girl, they would put me, they would lump me in the same category as y'all ain't shit niggas. It's only so much that I and other people who who other, other black men who move like me can do. You see what I'm trying to say? So we can sit here all day and come up with excuses after excuse or reasons of why this is this and this is that. Girl, at some point, girl, the excuses get old. Social standing just shot to hell. And y'all ain't trying to do nothing to change the image. You just latch on to it and just continue to be a ain't shit fuck nigga. And then you come out and try to get the people riled up by saying you telling false stories about me making the black man look horrible. Ray J, you make your own self look horrible. You didn't need any assistance from Kris Jenner at all. None. Is Kris Jenner wrong for trying to put her family first? No. Because what was your daddy at? Girl, what was your, mom, what was your mama at? Because ain't your mama your manager? So you can get mad at Chris all day long for putting her family first, but girl, if your mama was in a manager, it was in a meeting, girl, right along with Chris, then maybe, girl, you could have got the same deal, the same deal, deal as um, Kim. What was Sonya at? I'm not buying it, sorry. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying what these niggas trying to sell. Sorry. Anybody that says I'm spiraling when I express the undeniable truth is a sheep. Shut the F up and worry about your own kids. But Kanye, the truth of the matter is, girl, you got you tagged us in the group message. You telling us about your issues with Kim and the issues that you're having with Chris. When the truth of the matter is, girl, you got <laughs> girl, Kanye is a billionaire. Kanye got the same access and resource as Kim Kardashian. I don't give a damn how y'all try to slice it and dice it. Kanye don't make Kanye doesn't doesn't help his case when he gets on line and does the shit that he does. I'm sure that he is a lawyer's worst nightmare. Because the truth of the matter is, you're gonna look like the unhinged black man while your wife, ex-wife, is gonna look like the helpless white woman. I'm, I, I'm obviously, wait, I obviously am dealing with wars at the highest levels of control and discrimination based on the level I'm operating at. A conductor got to turn their back on the audience to direct the orchestra. Oh, ye crazy is basic as F. At this point, I'm simply right. I know the girls who sell pussy don't agree with how my daughters are displayed. Girl, what the girls who selling pussy got to do with anything? Because the truth of the matter is, you knew, you, girl, let me just say something. Let's say Kim is a hoe. I don't know if Kim is a hoe or not. Let's say Kim is a hoe. Kanye, that was your whore who you turned into a housewife. That was your whore who you decided not to have but one, not two, not three, but four children with. You knew Kim was a whore before you married her. You knew Kim was on tape sucking dick and getting her back banged out by Rager before you married her. You knew Kim had posed for Playboy. You knew Kim like to girl post Instagrams of her ass girl had nude on Insta on, on, on IG social media girl. You knew all of this and you still got on your knee and you still proposed to her. 
Now all of a sudden, girl, the girls are here selling pussy, girl, because they selling pussy. They don't agree with how your daughter is raised. Now we don't agree with what you're doing because, girl, you're trying to use your daughters, your children as a as a chess piece in this game. If you really gave a fuck about your children, you wouldn't be telling the world where they go to school at. One, girl, you wouldn't have had North on a goddamn magazine cover, girl, with a crop top on and makeup on too. Selling pussy ain't got nothing to do with morals or integrity. Okay. Believe it or not. Y'all not fit to keep discriminating on me while the organizations use me and use us all. <laughs> Kanye, you're not a billionaire for, for no reason. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm the kid's father. You are the kid's father. You should have a say-so in your kid's life. Girl, at this point, girl, I don't give a fuck. Kanye trying to act like good, like somebody said online. Kanye trying to act like this is a civil rights movement, and it's not. Kanye, you're going through shit with the woman who you decided to wife up. You're going through shit with the woman who you decided to have one, two, three, four kids by. Girl, this is a you problem. This ain't a us problem. You didn't have a problem hyping Kim up, you know, when you was disrespecting Amber Rose, saying, Girl, you know, Kim, when you was over there kicking and cock with Kim, you ain't have a problem. Girl, I don't care. I don't care. 